Welcome back to Sunrise. It's 514 on your Wednesday, and tonight you can watch the season premiere of American Ninja Warrior. And today, you and your kids can train like warriors as well. Chris Kirshner joins us with how an indie warrior is sharing his passion for living and working out like a ninja. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Naomi. Yeah, it's the night we've all been waiting for, right? The premiere of American Ninja Warrior. Wasn't it just a few weeks ago they were here in Indianapolis putting contestants to the test of Monument Circle? Well, one Fisher's teacher knows all about what it takes to train for the show. He's been on it twice. I caught up with him this week as he realizes another dream giving anyone a chance to channel their inner ninja. He makes it look so easy. This is Andy Smith and uh, he now has a brand new place where not only he is working out as an American Ninja Warrior, but you can be a warrior as well. This is a brand new facility that's opening today, right? Yes. Officially Tonight, in Noblesville. Five to seven is our grand opening here of Noblesville Free Community Event. Yeah. Well, congratulations Thank on you. this. I, we talked to Andy last year when you were going through the process of training, yes. right? And yes. you twice now. Correct. As an American Ninja Warrior contestant, right? Yes. All right. And, and at that time, you were in a friend's basement. Right. My next door neighbor. That was a very nice, very nice friend, by the way. Yes. He was a good guy <laughs> to let us in there that early in the morning. And at that time, you said, hey, I want to open up my own facility. Why did you want to ha have this place? Training for American Ninja Warrior empowered me after all of the health issues that I had had. And I wanted other people, kids and adults, all the way up to feel that same empowerment. Yeah, and tell me about some of those health issues. You had some pretty serious stuff going on in the last few years. I did. Uh, it was about a nine-year stretch of knee surgeries, foot surgeries, a couple of heart surgeries, a uh, broken neck, and then finally the big one, a stroke where my 12-year-old son had to call 911, and that was pretty scary for all of us. And you wanted them to be self-assured that you're healthy, that you feel good, and right. it, it gave you some confidence as well, and now you're wanting to share the love a little bit. I do. Right? Yes. All right, so tell me what this is all about. Who, who do you want to come here? I want anyone that wants to just get fit, um, be trained in obstacles, uh, to, all the way up to training for the show, we can get you there. Yeah, kids or adults. Kids right? or adults, we start yeah. at age eight and we go to 58, 68. If you can do it, then we've got it here for you. All right, and you're still working out. Absolutely. In fact, you were there when the show was downtown. Yes. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit later on. Great. In the meantime, best of luck to you. Thank you. All right, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I want to mention that Andy's place is located inside the Noblesville mm. Athletic Club. He has a grand opening later this afternoon. We have information about how to sign up for classes. He said he'll even do kids' birthday parties and <laughs> summer camps and all that kind of stuff. But we have that information on our website at WTHR.com. I also want to mention the episode of that American Ninja Warrior that was here in Indianapolis. That is on June 13th, mm -hmm. and he said he was uh, selected as a walk-on. Let oh, me tell wow. you how that all wow. worked out. We'll talk about that coming up in our next All right, hour. yeah, I've got an 11-year-old that can't get enough of <laughs> right, this Ninja right. Warrior stuff. He's gonna have to yeah, get to that position. Yeah.